Hey guys, welcome to a sort of how-to video for Borderlands 2. Um, this is technically my 100th video, so woohoo! Um, <laughs> um, in this video, I'd want to go. I just wanted to go over how to farm legendary loot midgets in the Hyperion Exploitation Preserve. Um, if you're like me, farming the same enemy over and over again can just get a little bit tedious, and you kind of want to switch things up a bit, and you don't really care what you get, you just want to, you know, see what you get, just for the just for the hell of it. Um, anyway, this video is going to be going over how to do that. Um, to start off, you're going to need to be at the point in Borderlands 2's storyline where um, you need to rescue Bloodwing from the Hyperion Exploitation Preserve, or you need to have just, you know, you do it be at least at that point. I've actually beaten the game at this point. Um, but yeah, so you go in, do that, uh, grab this mission from Tannis, uh, the one that I have highlighted right now, Doctor's Orders. Um, you see up in the, up right, right, right underneath the map, Doctor's Orders. Um, that's really the only, only thing you need from her. Um, in terms of like gear and stuff and, and character and specs and stuff, I mean, that's some frame rate. Um, I am using a Grog Nozzle, a Norfleet. All this gear is OP8, so it's the highest it can be. Uh, an Unkempt Herald, a Slow Hand. Um, I'll be switching between the B and the Sham and the Rough Rider. I'll be using all three of these. Um, it would probably be best if you if you have all, all three of these. Um, class mods really don't, don't matter, but if you have the Breakneck Banshee, you can use that with the Rough Rider to bypass most of the Hyperion Exploitation Preserve. Um, grenades, really up to you. I use the Quasar because it works really well in conjunction with Phase Lock and the ability to just, you know, pull things together. Um, and then Relic, same thing. Doesn't really matter what you're using. Um, my build is my typical uh, Siren build. Um, but really, all you need is you need ruin if you're going to be playing siren um, for that slag and um, this converge um, and fleet if you like I said want to just get around the Hyperion exploitation preserve. So fleet, converge, and ruin are basically the three skills that you're going to need um, if you're going to be playing as a farming siren. Um, because for fleet, if you have the Rough Rider and Breakneck Banshee, your shield's always going to be down. And I think I have 11 in fleet right now. Uh, 10. Cool. Uh, so I have a 100% movement increase. So you just, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog it up. <laughs> it's ridiculous how fast you move. Um, and then... Let's see. I use the sham, so say you're using a rocket launcher, and let's pretend I don't have any more ammo left. Alright, so I'm out of ammo. Well, no, I'm not out of ammo, I just, I'm low on ammo. So pretend I'm low on ammo. Um, get your sham out, get a low level bada boom. This one's level 5, it's nearly impossible to get it that low. Um, but if you're level 72 on OP8 and you're using a level 25 bada boom that you get from King Mong in playthrough one, um, you should be fine. Um, you take the bada boom and just shoot your feet with it. Uh, if you notice, I now have all my rockets back. I'm back up to 33 rockets. Uh, the reason for this is the bada boom fires in a shotgun like pattern at the cost of one rocket. So you shoot out six rockets at the cost of one. And the sham, what its gimmick is, um, it's a it's an absorb shield, so any bullets or rockets that are f fired at you uh, get added back to your inventory. So, you know, since all six rockets are low level hitting my feet, they're being just absorbed by the sham. One thing to note about the sham is it should be the 94%, which is like the... It's got some Molly 1 parts on it. You could probably look it up. Um, 
but yeah, okay, so gone over the gear, gone over the gone over the spec. Um Yeah. So these are just some of the items that I've gotten from um these four items are some of the items that I've gotten from farming these things for the last, I don't know, 20 minutes. Um, I think this is all in order. Switch to that. Actually, I need my Rough Rider. Right, that should be good. Alright, so without further ado, let's go to the Hyperion Exploitation Preserve. I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed this part up, but once you're in the um, exploitation preserve, you're going to need to just make sure you have on, if you're playing a siren this is, um, you're going to need to make sure you have on your Breakneck Banshee class mod, your Rough Rider, um, and it's probably best to have a high-powered grenade and the Grog Nozzle, um, so just like keep your Grog Nozzle out, and if you get shot at, just toss a grenade and you'll be fine. Um, what you're going to need towards the end, though, is the uh, DLC that lets you access the Natural Selection Annex. Um, and if you have that, you can enter it and then turn around and come right back out and it'll save and you'll just, you'll respawn there every time. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up as well. Um, but I'll, I'll summarize what happens. You go through the hallway in front of you, um, and if you're fast enough, you can skip the stalkers right outside the hallway. Um, sometimes you're not going to be fast enough, though, and you'll have to deal with them, but, I mean, they're not hard. Uh, if you have a fire north fleet on and you get rid of their shield, they're, they're easy. Um, but, yeah, once you once you deal with them, you get out, and there's going to be a massive fight going on between stalkers and these loaders. Um, there's going to be a couple waves that you just have to clear. Um, they're not too difficult. Um, but once you see a ultimate badass stalker, um, just be a little bit careful, because the second it dies, there's going to be a door that opens up, um, on the other side of the field where a super badass loader comes out, and he will, he will tear you up. Um, so wh what I usually do is I take care of everything but the badass stalker, then I take care of that, and then I make sure phase lock is back, um, take care of the loader, and then carry on, and usually I don't run into any major problems, um, but there is always that chance that uh, that something bad might happen. Because you know, you might miss, might miss shoot, might forget to reload a gun. I don't know, um, but you'll you'll get there eventually. All right, right before you get to the um, to get to the loot midgets, there's one last major fight that goes down. Now, if you're doing this at the portion in the game where you still need to rescue Bloodwing, these um, gates won't be up and the monsters won't be able to attack you. So it's best to do it then. But I didn't feel like getting all the way back there and you know doing that all over again. So um, I just came back to it post game. Um, so you should be fine. Uh, just, you know, make sure you monitor your rocket consumption if you are using a rocket launcher. Um, don't die, because you'll have to you'll go all the way back to the annex. Um, but you should be fine. Just be patient. <laughs> so, here we are in the main room. Um... This is, this is the room in which all of the uh, loot midgets will spawn. Uh, I usually like to loot the containers around the four boxes right here, and then um, and then open them up one by one and just go to town. Um, I think in this, in this clip, I actually... Jimmy Jenkins pops out first, and he actually kills me. <laughs> um, I throw the grenade. He doesn't come out, which I was kind of surprised. Um, I mean my own grenade blows up on me and it just turned into a bad time. Um, yeah, I get him down low, but then he comes out and 
instead of me walking up in front of him, I should have just thrown the quasar off the other side, but once done, it's done. Um, so he actually ends up killing me. A little bit embarrassing, um, but, you know, say la vie, that's what happens. Um, it sends you all the way back to the uh, natural selection annex, like, front door whenever you die. So a little bit of a trick, so I cut that part out. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and cut to when I get the legendaries and stuff. So here, I think... Oh, I, is it, I get a saw bar or a bouncing bonnie. I think I get the bouncing bonnie here. Um, yeah, the engineer comes out. I slag him with ruin. He dies. And he drops the bonnie. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to show a couple more clips of me just doing this. I actually, from an other, another video that I was trying to record at the same time as doing this, so those that's actually pretty pretty well narrated, so I'm going to stop talking. Because um, I'm actually doing a voiceover right now, but here you go. Give me some rocket ammo. That would be great. Yes! It's like they knew. The Borderlands 2 gods are watching over me. I guess it'd be more like the RNG gods are watching over me. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I should be good on rockets. What do you call a crap bandit? <gasps> yes. All right. Cool. So this is one of this is one of the pearlescents in the game. I was hoping I was gonna get one for this video. The sawbar. Yeah, I'm just mayhem. I love this gun. I actually hate this gun, but whatever. All right, so yeah, it's that's a pretty powerful bandit rocket or bandit um, assault rifle. All right, one more. Which gun is it? Oh. Ah! See, legendary. What is it? Oh, it's the gunner ring. That's awesome. <laughs> I love this gun. It's so funny. It's like you shoot it. And then it sort of comes back to you. Well, it passes you. And then it explodes. <laughs> Alright, well, cool. I'm glad you guys got to see some of that. Um, if this was helpful, you know, leave a like and a comment, that'd be, or if you need me to go over anything, just, you know, I'm your dude. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, this gun's a little bit situational. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.